Well, good morning. Uh, <clears throat> well, for the last uh, week, uh, couple of weeks or so, I've been working on a new heater for my shop. And uh, I finally got it installed. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to show that to you right quick and uh, see how it burns. I haven't burned it yet. So, uh, so we're going to see, see how it does. And uh, hopefully it'll warm the shop up so that I can get out here and, and work when it's cold outside. Because I've, I've done got old and now I just, I just don't like the cold like I used to. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's about 27 here, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's about 27 here in Rock Mart right now. So, uh. So anyway, I'm going to fire this heater up and uh, I'm going to show you how I've got it installed and, and all of that. Uh, my stove pipe is a little bit uh, tilted in two directions, but that's just because uh, I didn't want to replace the roof right there where my old heater was. And I'm using the same, the same stove pipe, the same hole in the, in the roof and everything else. So... Uh, <clears throat> But that doesn't affect how it burns. Uh, actually, it burns even better because my stovepipe's running straight up. It doesn't have that 90 degree angle coming out the back. So uh, anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show it to you right quick. And then uh, we'll, we'll light this thing up. All right, let's see here. This is it. Uh, and uh, it's it's in the same place that my other heater was, and you can see how this thing's tilted. It's because I wanted to keep it kind of away from that wall a little bit, but I do have a masonry on the wall and down on the floor. I took out all the bricks that the other one was sitting in, so actually there's less weight on the floor. This thing weighs about 168 pounds, is uh, kind of what I've estimated just from the size of the metal and stuff like that that I that I got so uh, but anyway uh, I had to move my table saw and this kind of a mess right now but I had to move it and uh, <clears throat> and of course get the other heater out and get this one in it was a pretty good job but uh, let's get this thing fired up well, all right well now normally normally I'll start out with like a, a pile of paper or uh, shredded paper or whatever because you know we've got a shredder in the house and I'll use I'll use that stuff to start my fires but I've got a lot of scrap pine left over from a couple of projects uh, I did before Christmas and I'm just trying to burn that stuff up and it it's it's pretty good fire starter so uh, so I built me a little fire lay here paint's cold and I'm just gonna try to try to get that pine going and what I've done here is uh, I've laid out my pine in kind of a crisscross pattern so I can get plenty of airflow through it and uh, and I've got wood that's left over from that last burn we did outside. Yeah, normally you just light the fire up or some wood shavings to really start these things good. All right, let's see, let's see what we got. Let me open up my little dampers here. See if I can get some air going in here. And maybe get this thing going. Oh yeah, I, I also worked on the door. I added some more angle here on the side of the door <clears throat> just to try to resist that thing wanting to uh, wanting to uh, bend.
might not have quite enough airflow in there. But once it starts burning that up on the top again, this thing will be really good to go. Yeah, I think that'll get it. There. Yeah, she'll go now. She'll be good to go. So I'm going to leave the door kind of cracked just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go grab some firewood. Alright, well, you can see here, this thing's, it's drafting. It's drafting just fine. Still got a really small fire in there. But uh, it's getting going. So, I shouldn't have any problems with my draft. The, the stove pipe comes straight up out of the... It comes straight up out and up. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm fixing to go ahead and plug up the blower. And we'll see... Try to see how that thing's going to work. My shop is a mess right now. It won't be long. Well, it works. Yep. Oh yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna have if I find me a little piece of plastic. You can see the blower works really good. here it's just hanging flat come out here and it's, yeah that thing's blowing really good and it's so quiet you can't you almost can't even tell it's it's blowing so as that thing as that thing heats up I should get really good heat out here in the shop all right let's see I see a good glow in there now let's see what the fire looks like oh yeah I'm going to let that go for a couple of minutes and get these bigger pieces going and then, <clears throat> then I'm going to kind of spread it out a little bit and put my bigger wood on there and I'll have me a nice roaring fire in here. So alright well I'm going to give it just a couple of minutes let that get caught up good. <clears throat> okay well while I'm waiting for that to get caught up I'm going to show you the temperature here in the shop is about 30 degrees. It's right at 30 degrees. So it definitely needs to heat up in here a little bit. So, uh, and I can hear the fire roaring and you can see it. Uh, you can see the glow up under there. So I really like this design of bringing that airflow in low and <clears throat> letting that air come up through the fire because it, it really gets a lot of oxygen that way and uh, the draft pulls it straight just straight up through your wood you have to space your wood and stuff out inside there or your fuel you have you have to space it out so the air can get all around that so uh, all right well I'm gonna check this right quick and we're gonna see uh, if we can't get some bigger wood in here, maybe start warming this shop up. Oh yeah, she's, look at her. Look at her now. She's doing good. Uh, Alright, I'll take a couple of these like smaller kind of pieces here. And just lay them in there. Kind of, well let's move, let's move some stuff around a little bit kind of spread this fire out so I can lay wood in there. There we go. Get another piece. Throw this one on there. And I'm trying to lay it, like I said, in a in a fashion where air can get all around it. Go ahead and chunk one of these smaller feet in out. And I always use like a crisscross pattern so air can get around them. All right. And in just a minute, this thing will be burning like crazy. Ha <laughs> ha. 
And in the meantime, I want to show you what I got in the mail. My buddy John Williams down at, in Tampa, uh, we did a, a trade. And he, he needed a, a great big piece of walnut for a project that he's doing uh, for one of his clients. And he called and asked me for it. And uh, I sent him a 47 pound piece of walnut he's making a sink out of. So it was 16 by 16 by 10 inches thick. And uh, he's going to make a sink out of that. And I'll get pictures of that when, when he gets done. But he sent me this uh, in return for that. Got a, a nice big piece of uh, box elder right here. And uh, it's got some spalting in it. Man, this is going to be pretty. And it's already dry. So when I get to turning it, uh, I think it's going to look really good. And you can see the red all around it too. So, wow, that's going to be cool. But also, he sent me this camphor. Now, this is really heavy. It's really heavy wood, but it is just beautiful. I've turned it before when he uh, sent me some. And man, it was just beautiful wood. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, but it has that distinct camphor smell. You know, it smells like icy hot or something like that. So, you know, if you don't like that smell, you may not want to turn this. But you'll want to turn it anyway because this stuff is beautiful. I can't wait to get started on it. So, all right. Well, let's, uh, let's just uh, see how everything's going. If you're, I mean that thing's roaring. Let me let me go outside and look how the how the draft's doing. It's drafting good. Nice clean burn. Not a lot of smoke. Good heat waves though. <laughs> All right. Well, I got me a visitor. <laughs> what do you think about the heater? It's a lot warmer than the Cookie Monster. That son of a gun is rolling some heat out of that blower. I'm standing over here right now, and it's rolling some heat. Uh, the heater's been burning about seven or eight minutes now since I actually lit it. And uh, the, the air is flowing right basically this direction here. So, so let, let's see where we're at now. We are right at 40, right at 40 degrees. There it is right there. You can see it's right at 40 now. So, so this thing is, it's really doing it. It's exactly what I needed, but I want to check some temperatures. Uh, I want to check some temperatures on the wall and things like that. I'm, I'm not ever going to burn this thing. I'm never going to burn this thing without being out here but uh let's see let's look here 425 degrees at the top that should be 387 here so that that heat exchanger is getting really really hot so uh let's see what this wall says uh, 61.3 we'll shoot this this down here 95 okay nothing that's gonna start a fire let's see here on, on this uh, 50 54 I think I'm gonna be good and safe as long as I don't try to get crazy with the fires and stuff like that uh, it's really changing the temperature in here really fast <clears throat> so yeah I don't uh, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with it what do you think no nah. no no problems I like it I really do I really do it, it turned out nice and the door shuts good now and it doesn't try to warp when I get a fire going in it it's all right okay well uh we're getting on up to around 50 now. So uh, this thing's been burning about maybe 15 minutes. And uh, 
we're we've gone we've gone from 27 in the shop to 50 degrees so that my friends is a lot better than what I had and I think the heater's gonna work great uh, I still need to build an ash pan for it and I'm gonna do that I just didn't have the material on hand so uh, but yeah it's working great it's pulling good draft and the heat exchanger works great As a matter of fact I'm standing right in front of it and it feels pretty <laughs> pretty toasty all right <clears throat> well there's my heater and uh, it's gonna be a welcome addition to the shop uh, down here in Georgia it gets it, it, it's pretty temperate really but to me now when it gets around 20 or, or below 20 degrees or so it's just uncomfortable for me out here anymore so uh, you know generally over about 35 degrees or so I'm pretty comfortable out here but uh, but anyway this heater is gonna it's gonna warm this shop up really nice it's come up over 20 degrees uh, just in the few minutes I've been running it uh, as long as I leave the doors closed but now I could go further you know and put more wood in there and get it even hotter and hotter and stuff like this as hot as I got it out there on the table uh, in the last video but I don't need it to be that hot I just I just want to keep a nice fire burning in there uh, that that can warm the shop I'm not trying to run myself out and <clears throat> I did have a couple of comments said that thing will run you out of there I know it will <laughs> if I build a fire big enough in there it will uh, because that thing radiates some heat and it blows out really good heat out that exchanger so uh, I love it but uh, I asked my I decided to let my my viewers name it and I had a lot of cool names <laughs> piglet uh, just all kinds of good names but uh, JP thank you for the suggestion of Bernie this heater's name is now officially Bernie but thanks thank you everybody for uh, watching this this series I really enjoyed it it's been a great uh, it's been a great experience for me and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, thank you for all the names and things like that the suggestions uh, but I really, well, <laughs> I like, <laughs> I love the name Bernie. It just, it just it rings a bell with me. But, uh, all right, well, you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll see y'all down the road.